Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yummy. Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken Domic food review just for you. I am in the tiny town of Stroud in Innisfil, Ontario, Canada at Stacked Pancake House. I drive by here all the time, never been in, looked up uh, their menu online and I was gonna order one thing and then when I got here, I just wanted to make sure I was gonna say it right, but I noticed something else on their menu that I thought would do really, really well on this channel. The breakfast waffle sandwich, it's $12.99, layered with bacon, eggs and cheese, cheese served with home fries let's go in there grab that come back here and eat it with you are you guys ready let's do it I'd like to try your uh, waffle breakfast sandwich, please. Your breakfast waffle sandwich? Yeah. Breakfast waffle sandwich. Whatever, however you want to say it. <laughs> uh, is that everything? That's everything. Yes, 1355 and that's to go. Peanut cutlery and. Uh, yes, please. Do you want syrup? Uh, yeah, that's, you have like, like, it's like a sealed thing of syrup? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay, yeah, I'll take that, sure. Sure. Why not, eh? Thank you very much. You're very welcome. I hope you enjoy. I will. Bye-bye. Bye. Woo! We are back in the car, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take off the jacket. steering wheel tray and pig out apparently there we go good apparently this place has been around for about three and a half years prior to that was another breakfast kind of place called flapjacks uh, if you live in the area you'll remember that uh, so this meal came to uh, well I guess I told you it was uh, $12.99 and then after tax and everything it was $13.55 so $12.99 for this big breakfasty lunch kind of thing. Let's see what we got in this little baggie here. Oh, okay, we got napkins, a knife and fork. I was kind of hoping I'll be able to eat it with my hand, but we'll see. We got uh, two ketchup, uh, salt, peppers. Let's put all that stuff back. I wouldn't put salt and pepper on waffle type food. Well, one of the things, as, as she gave it to me, I'm like, ah. Oh when they tie it in a double knot and it's plastic and then it's sometimes hard to uh, to undo. But again, if you twist the plastic and push it through, it works good, so I'm good. No complaining. Oh, can you smell that? Ooh. We're gonna have to do a close-up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there is a close-up of your waffle breakfast sandwich with a side order of home fries and some maple syrup. Let's open up one of these waffles. Uh, maybe this one, we'll, we'll do the first one, the closest one to us. Oh boy, we got bacon. Is that good bacon or what? Oh yeah, that's the kind of bacon I like. Come on, focus camera, focus. We got bacon, we got eggs, we got cheese. It's underneath, it's probably all stuck. That's a lot of bacon. Look at that, it's all doubled up. Ooh. Double bacon me, please. Double bacon. All right, so obviously I'm gonna have to use the fork with my home fries. Check that out, golden brown. Mmm. I don't think they need any more salt. And depending on my mood, depends on whether or not I would put ketchup down, a little pile of ketchup, salt, pepper. Sometimes I'll eat my home fries as is because they taste good. 
Mmm. Super hot. Ooh la la. Ooh. I'm thinking $12.99. It's a pretty good, um, pretty good deal for the amount of food that you're getting here. Mmm. Oh yeah. Doesn't need any extra salt. He's, uh, seasoned it up quite well. He or she, whoever was cooking, I don't know. So I guess I could, if I was eating it in the, oh, cheese pull. If I was eating it, oh, dude. Not on oh, my incredible shirt. If I was eating in the restaurant, I might put the uh, syrup all over it and use a knife and fork and eat it. But uh, check that out. Scratch that. Sniff that. The rest is mine. Does that look incredible or what? Good thing I'm wearing my incredible shirt to eat something incredible. Well, how can you go wrong? Really, how can you go wrong? Nothing, I guess the only thing you could do wrong with that is burn it, but it's obviously not burnt. Mmm. Obviously knows how to cook. So, my initial bite is saying to put uh, syrup on it. So, Although all everything was good, the um, the waffle without syrup is, is dry. I think I need to take another bite. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it needs the syrup. All right, so yeah, my, my taste buds don't like the waffle as it is without syrup, so let's just do this. It's not that it's bad, it's just it will taste better. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yummy. Oh, that's good. Yeah, always do syrup. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Get that on the car seat, why don't you? Mmm. Mmm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Don't get any on your incredible trip. Mmm. Wouldn't you love this job, people? Eating amazing food in your car and getting paid for it. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Best job in the world, people. Best job in the world. So, the egg's fine. Perfectly cooked. The, the cheddar cheese is great. The bacon is, there's nothing wrong with the bacon. It was cooked just right. It's not too, too uh, undercooked. You know when it gets all fatty because it's undercooked? It's like all limp, so I guess you got crisp bacon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe, maybe that would be the only thing I would do. Is crisp up the bacon so that you get a crunch in there as well. Because everything is soft. To add the, the bacon, that a crunchy bacon in there, that would give that, that extra texture. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I got the best job in the world. Mm-hmm. 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 Mommy. Mommy. That's so good. Holy cow. Next time you're in Stroud, man, stop by Stacked. Apparently there's five of them. This was the original uh, one, and they went straight to uh, franchising that out. And I think they'll do well. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, please get the syrup. That is phenomenal. Unbelievable. Oh. I think I'm gonna eat the other half. Just to be a complete pig. Check it out. Scratch that. Sniff that. The rest is mine. Once again, I may have done that already, but I don't care. I just don't care. All right, let's dip. Oh my goodness, people. I know you love to see me eat. Do I make you hungry? Do I? I know I do. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Listen to it in my mouth. Just listen. Mmm. To all the people that freaks out, and they can't stand the mouth noises. 
This is a food channel, people. You're gonna hear f mouth noises. I was gonna say, I should have said food, food smacking, lip smacking noises. You're gonna hear that. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm I, I honestly, I would, I would not be able to finish that without syrup. I know I'm fixed on this the syrup thing. I just want to make sure if you ever order this, you got to do it with syrup. There's no other way you could possibly eat this. I, I was seriously would have stopped eating it. Mm -hmm. I think it's the um, the spray possibly that they put on the waffle iron before they start cooking before they put the batter into the waffle iron, they spray it. And I think I'm getting that flavor. And it's not uh, it's not pleasant. But the syrup, that'll take care of it for you. Just a few more bites, people, and then it's all over. Put it on slow-mo if you want. Uh-huh. I like to try this by pouring syrup all over it. Eating it on a plate with a knife and fork. I know she gave me a knife and fork, but I should have said no, don't worry about it. I need the fork for the fries, but you can't cut this properly with a plastic knife and fork. It's just not going to happen. Uh huh. Uh huh. Lots of noises. Because I enjoy my food. I enjoy my life. And hopefully one day you get to check this out or something similar. And you can enjoy your life too with that. Alright. I'm going to give Stacked Pancake House a 1 o'clock in the morning shout out bite for creating something as cool as this. And to all my 1 o'clock in the morning shout out people for watching my videos at 1 o'clock in the morning. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. This bite is for you and stacked. Oh, check that out. <laughs> are you hungry? Yes, you are. <laughs> Let's cleanse the palate before we rate it, shall we? Mm. Get all the, uh, the sweet, syrupy flavors out of my mouth. Okay, we're ready to go. On my rating scale, I'm gonna give Stack Pancake House a go out and get it now. It was that good. Um, if they could do something a little bit different with the waffles, I'm not sure if they can infuse it with syrup or something, but they were just very, very plain tasting waffles. And if, if you didn't put that syrup on it, again, I probably wouldn't have been able to finish the second half. Um, this tasted funny again it maybe it maybe it's the spray maybe it's the uh, kind of waffle mix that they use i don't know it would definitely be bumped up to the go out and get it now plus if they could change up the batter that they use in their waffles to make them maybe a little bit of a sweeter type of waffle that's the kind of waffles that i enjoy all right guys if you enjoy my videos and you don't want to miss the next one please hit that subscribe button it sits right around here click the notification bell but if you want to show your support for me doing these videos just for you and you. Hit it with a thumbs up, ding, 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 and we'll see you next time on another Kendomic food review. Kendomic out. Boop. Here we go, people. Are we all ready? We're all lined up? Okay. At Stacked Breakfast Pancake House and Breakfast, oh, they call it Bre Pancake House and Breakfast. At Stacked Pancake House. Let's go. <laughs> Now let's get out the steering. <laughs> there is a close up of your waffle breakfast. The waffle breakfast, yeah. Does that look incredible or what? <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's cleanse the palate. <coughs> let's can let's can the palate. Let's cleanse the, you're still stuff in my mouth. All right guys, thanks for watching. Talk to you later, bye.